Welcome to how to create a daily assignment in ES Optimizer. To begin creating an assignment, please navigate to the Manage Department tab and select the Daily Assignment menu item. You notice we are working in our sample database that already contains quite a few daily assignments. In order to add an assignment, we must have a numeric number that is not in use. In this case, we're going to create a second shift work schedule, and we're going to number it 210. In order to do that, you can use either Add Daily Assignment button at the right, click on it, and then fill in your assignment number, followed by a description. In this case, our new building. One HR schedule. Select the days per week that this schedule will be active. It's five days a week. The employee, if you know the employee who would work the assignment, you can enter them here. Somebody that's read means they're already assigned to an assignment and cannot be reassigned to this one unless you unassign them. A supervisor can also be assigned to this assignment if you choose. You must select a work shift. In this case, we're going to say it's an evening shift beginning at 4 p.m. You can also create an employee pager and enter it here and a supervisor pager number here as well. It is not required. At this point, I like to save the assignment prior to adding any duties to it. So now you can see my daily assignment has been saved successfully. So if I scroll down, you will see three tabs. The first is the duties tab. So here we can begin to add duties in this window. So we are going to click add duties. Going to have to maneuver over to search and this is similar to the room search box not quite as detailed but close we're going to select the subsection we're going to select the box to the right of that scroll down to our new building hr area and select find we're going to leave the cleaning frequency and we also want it by unassigned rooms it just shows us every room that is unassigned which is exactly what we want to see so upon clicking Find, you'll notice that we do have the Add Duties dialog box now. And here are all our rooms in HR. The easiest way to create a work assignment for someone that's brand new to uh, ES Optimizer is simply select all the duties. By clicking the box above, you notice that I just selected everything. It's a total of 56 minutes, which is fine. I'm going to click Apply and then OK. And you notice I'm returned to the daily assignment module. Here are my duties. And now I have all of my rooms that I just selected every single job duty in HR and added it to this one schedule. So at this point, I typically hit save. And now because I'm new and I'm not sure what I just approved, I'm going to look through the rooms because there may be duties that I don't want this second shift person to do. So for example, Restrooms contain policing. This person is not going to clean restroom 103 and then check it right away. The intent of this is the policing would probably occur during the day and the cleaning would be done in the evening. So clearly this is a task that is not needed on this assignment and would not be done by second shift. So I can simply check the duty and click remove. I'm going to continue down the list to ensure that the and it contains all the items that I want this housekeeping person to complete. Again, here's another policing of a restroom that again would be done by a different shift. So I'm going to remove that duty as well. Note, when I make changes, I usually like to hit save just to make sure that my changes are accepted. Uh, things can happen. Browsers can close. Uh, the internet could crash, your computer may crash, and you may lose your changes. So it's good habit to just frequently uh, save your work in progress. So we'll continue to look at the assignment, and lo and behold, we're at the end. But now we have uh, hallway information. So in this case, this is a wide vac duty. This is the corridor preparation step, along with the wide vacuuming of this corridor. Uh, this is probably not something that I would have the day-to-day -day housekeeper do. Uh, in most cases, that's probably going to be a floor person. Uh, it may very well be your housekeeper, in which case you could leave it here. But let's, uh, for the argument's sake, let's say that we're going to remove that duty as well. 
We can click both of those since that will go to a floor care person. Click remove and then we can click save. So there you go. We've created a new assignment. When we've added some duties, we've reviewed the duties and removed those that don't apply. And now we can continue with building this assignment, adding other areas until we gain the uh, total productive work time of 430 minutes. And then just repeat that process for all other areas in your database until your work schedules have been completed. That's all there is to it. Thank you for using ES Optimizer. Have a great day.